Okay, here we go. Um, first you want to pick a hole that you want to see how well it does. So we'll take the Mercury and we will build a fleet of Mercuries. Say you want to build this fleet and you don't know how well it's going to do against other fleets. Fleet versus fleet or base prep or whatever. We'll do it with evade armor. Um, now, what I'm doing here is just an example. You don't have to follow these builds by any means. It's just to show you how to use the simulator. Uh, let's see. We'll put... I'll set it up like I have mine. this fleet made. Okay, so you take this code right here um, in the blue and you want to copy this code then you go into the simulator and then you go ship versus ship Hold on. Ship versus ship. And you want to use the code here. You add it. Then you put build ship. Click there. And it makes your ship on the left hand side. Then you want to go back to the ultimate shipyard. And say you want to try it against... Um, we'll try to get stingrays. And we'll use also evade armor. engine 3 This is a good tool if you're building fleets to see how they react to other fleets. Say like if you're a fleet fighter and you want to build something that works against other fleets 
or you want to see how they react against other fleets and see how the damage is and how fast you can kill them this is a good tool to use um, it works really well it's not it's probably 98.9 percent .9 accurate on the damage that it does and how the ships react So you got your second fleet built. <coughs> and then you take the code again. You want to, uh, as soon as it copies, you want to go back into the ship versus ship, get rid of this code, place your new code in. it somehow I'm not sure how I did that but okay whole ID invalid I've never seen that before okay well anyway you take these codes that you get you put them in here I don't know why it's saying whole invalid, but okay, whatever. Anyway, you copy those two codes, put them here, you'll have a ship here, you'll have a ship here, and then it'll come down here, and it will ask you to simulate, and it will show you basically what it does. You'll have a ship coming from this side, and a ship coming from this side, and they'll fight each other, and you see what kind of damage it has. You can speed it up, you can do uh, tower runs, which is how fast the ships move to towers. Um, chasing ships around. It's an all-around good tool. Um, I wish I could get it to show you what it was doing or how it works. But for some reason it won't let me do that. Uh, it's probably something stupid I'm doing. But we'll we'll try it like this one more time, and then if it don't work, then you get the gist of what I'm trying to do. Evade. Um, we'll do engine three, and we'll just do one weapon on this one. Um, we'll use strike missiles. Then you build a co or you'll build your fleet. You want to copy that code. You want to get rid of this one because obviously that one doesn't work. Put your code in. You want to build a ship. Okay. There's your ship. Then you want to come over. You have identical ships, obviously. Then you want to do the simulator. Then you want to do the run. Oh my goodness, I've never had this much problems with anything. Okay, we'll do this one. We'll make it to where it's not identical. 
That way it won't yell at me anymore. I'm going to take this code. Copy. Paste. Build. But anyway, you get the gist of it. You build the ships. It tells you the stats down here. You want to do the run. Um, oh, they've got presets in it now, so you can take that. You can go to a preset and say you want to go against a battleship missile. Click on it. <coughs> Check the destruction, whatever. You want to run it. It shows your ships. You can control them however you want to. You want to check the damage that the ship's going to do. You run them as if you were fighting in real life or in the game. You can see the damage that the battleship's taking versus what the stingray's taking. You can see the perimeter of the, the weapons, how far their range is as opposed to each other. You can speed it up to where it goes faster. But obviously with the battleship having missiles, if the stingray gets in close, it's going to kill the battleship right off hand. If the stingray would have stayed out farther, the battleship would have obviously won because of the range on the stingray. See, if you keep the stingray outside its firing zone, it's going to lose. But if you bring the stingray in close because it has ballistic weapons, it's, <clears throat> it's going to make short work of the battleship. And that'll give you a choice and a chance to see what the ship builds are going to be like. Uh, I hope this helps for anybody that had any questions on how this works. Sorry about the issues I had with it. Um, I'll try to figure out what's going on with my computer because obviously it's not the program. Uh, a lot of us use it to try ship builds. And it works just fine. So it's probably because I'm trying to make y'all a video. And that's that. Have fun. Happy hunting.